let us consider A and B are atoms. A and B are joined by covalent bond by sharing of two electrons. So let me write these two electrons over here. In homolytic fusion, the bond breaks in such a manner that each fragment like A and B retains one electron. So when we are writing the homolytic fusion at that time, we must write like A plus B and we must show the one electron on each fragment and this can be shown with the help of such type of arrow. This is generally known as the half headed arrow like that. It indicates one electron is going on B and the other one is going on A. So we must write the electrons like that. Such type of electrons are generally known as free radicals. So let me write it as a free radicals. Such fragments having an odd or equal unpaid electrons are generally known as free radicals. These free radicals are neutral in nature. Formation of free radicals requires higher energy than the covalent bond formation. The energy is generally taken from heat, light or catalyst. So let me write here as heat. light or catalyst we can write one simple example if we have the chlorine molecule like this so we can show the homolytic fusion in chlorine molecule so we have two electrons in this covalent bond and this can be break up in such a way that the one electron is going on the one chlorine and the other electron is going on the other chlorine. So when writing the fission of this so we can write like that and now we have to show the free radicals on this chlorine like that. Now let us try to understand the heterolytic fusion, heterolytic fusion or heterolysis. In case of heterolysis, a covalent bond like A and B break up in a such a manner that the shared pair of electrons remain with one of these fragments and the other fragment is deprived of its own electron. So let us see this. So when we have A join with B. Now in this case we have two electrons between this A and B. This is the covalent bond and now you can see here these two electrons will move towards B. So this is fully headed arrow. So we can write the fragments like A plus B but in this case the, both the electron two electrons will go on B so automatically it will carry negative charge and this A will become electron deficient. It means that there is formation of ions takes place in case of heterolysis. These two electrons may move towards the A so I will show over there, so this is A joined to B. In this case, if we have the two electrons and if we show this arrow in this fashion, so it means that we must write A as a electron breach and automatically the B will become the electron deficient. So again there is formation of ions takes place. Now let us take one example if we have the hydrochloric acid, yes, Cl, 
in case of HCl, if we write the two electrons between these two, that is hydrogen and the chlorine, now when these two electrons will donate towards the chlorine in this fashion, so this will become H plus Cl and here in this case when these two electrons are going on chlorine so we must write it as a negative so Cl minus and automatically this H will become the electron deficient so again there is formation of ions takes place in heterolysis.